My name is Julie Oka, and I'm the associate principal at Leary High School. I'd like to welcome you to tonight's award ceremony. Uh, before we begin, we are going to have the ROTC come in and do the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs> On behalf of the entire administrative team, I'd like to welcome you to tonight's board ceremony. Tonight we are joined by community members to recognize students that have put forth exceptional effort in their four years of high school and have earned scholarships and awards based on their achievements. I want to thank all the parents, family, and friends for your support of all of our students. We appreciate you taking time out of your day to join us. Please allow me to introduce some of tonight's guests. First, we have Ms. Ann Schloss, Elyria Schools Superintendent. <laughs> Natalie Matthews, Associate Superintendent and Director of Academic Services. Mr. Tim Brown, building principal. Dr. Kim Bonetto, Pioneer Academy principal. Courtney Griffiths, associate principal at Leary High School. And then we have the team principals. First we have Vincent Velasquez, team one principal. Team 2 Principal, Mr. Brett Heiberger, Team 3 Principal, and Mr. Ryan Taylor, Team 4 Principal. We also have school counselors in attendance. We have Ms. Shakira Lewis, Team 3 School Counselor, Mr. James Burke, Team 2 School Counselor. Ms. Elizabeth Holland, Team 4, School Counselor. Michelle Kirsch, Team 1, School Counselor. Ms. Trump, Freshman Counselor. Uh, Jackie Anderley, College and Career Implementation Specialist. 
And then lastly, I would like to personally thank uh, Ms. Calamaz, Team 2 Principal, Michelle Kirsch, Team 1 Counselor, and Alana Wren, Team 2 Building Support Associate, uh, for all of their hard work putting together this ceremony. For tonight's ceremony, I'm going to call each community member to the stage to present their scholarships and awards to their chosen recipients. Students, please come to the stage when your name is called to receive your award. Our first presenter is from the Community Foundation of Lorain County, Ms. Angela Lee. Good evening. My name is Laura Malone. I am allowing Angela Lee to play the role tonight of proud grandmother. So I will be standing in as a development officer of the Community Foundation of Lorain County to recognize the scholarship recipients. For those of you that may not be aware of Community Foundation, we are a tapestry of 700 different funds that have been created by individuals, companies, organizations, including the school districts. You'll see later some of the um, scholarship recipients that are coming from the Elyria School Endowment. These particular scholarships are coming from our over 50 different independent scholarship funds that are countywide, and some of them focused on the Elyria School District itself, separate, excuse me, separate from the endowment. The first one that I will share with you is the Dr. Robert and Eldor Stevenson Family Scholarship. This recognizes future community leaders already making a difference in their school and community today. Students that are awarded the scholarship have attended Elyria High School for at least two years and earned a minimum 3.1 GPA and are involved in a range of extracurricular activities including athletics or music. Students receiving this award have clearly demonstrated leadership and character traits and are building personal awareness towards racial, cultural, and religious issues. Graduating from the Elyria High School class of 1940 was just the beginning for two very talented students, Eleanor Carr and Robert Stevenson, would together go on to create a monumental impact for fellow Elyria High School students for decades to come. Eleanor and Bob were active volunteers with numerous community organizations in the six decades they devoted to the Elyria community. Their strong belief in the importance of education fueled their lifelong commitment to fostering education and community leadership in all the students whose lives, lives they've touched. Those many years of helping students and volunteering to give back to the community stand forever as the Bob and Eleanor's legacy to Larry. Jacqueline Kaminsky, graduating senior class of 2022 with a 4.6 GPA, makes this award a particularly appropriate way to honor the Stevenson's dedication. Her name will be added to the Stevenson family plaque, which is on display here at Elyria High School. Congratulations and best wishes to Jacqueline and all of her endeavors. have a twofer. So um, I'd like to award the Franklin Jacinto Scholarship Fund, which is part of our Hispanic Fund at the Community Foundation, to Andrew, Andrew Palos. Along with this award, Andrew is receiving the Harry and Dorothy Zahars Memorial Scholarship Fund Award, and this is a renewable scholarship for those students pursuing engineering, medicine, or the sciences. So Andrew Palos.
We have a second Carol, Harry and Dorothy Zahars Memorial Scholarship Fund recipient. Um, that is Jacob Clayton, who is also receiving a $2,000 award for four years renewal. So, Jacob. Certainly not least, we have the Geraldine Elisar Zahars Memorial Scholarship Fund. This is a renewable scholarship for the pursuit of nursing careers. This is a $5,000 four-year renewable award, and this is going to Kayla Bender. that she had befriended through the music programs here at Elyria High. 
For this reason, our family established the scholarship in her name. This year, we had several wonderful applicants, and we believe that the recipient demonstrates the same love and passion for music as Kim did. On behalf of the Schmidtkin family, I am thrilled to present this $5,000 shift to scholarship to Jacqueline Kaminsky. Scholarship in the Dr. Mark Sutter Scholarship, we have Miss Ernestine Lopes. Good evening. The Helen Scholarship was established by founders who wish to remain anonymous to provide a one time scholarship award annually. $500 or more to a Valeria High School graduate pursuing a degree in the field of nursing. The students selected for 2022 by the Elyria City Schools Endowment Board of Trustees plans to attend Ohio Northern to pursue a nursing degree and ultimately become a physician's assistant. I'm pleased this evening to present this scholarship award $1,000 to Kayla Bender. Mark Sutter was a brilliant scholar, educator, and administrator who had a passion for improving student achievement through leadership and professional development of administration and staff. Dr. Sutter was actively involved in the construction of the Elyria High School. One of the legacies he left behind is the room numbering system. Yeah. You know, your, your graduation or retirement when you can finally go to one of those rooms without confusion. <laughs> a memorial to Dr. Sutter can be found in the east wall yes. of the Performing Arts Center. The Dr. Mark Sutter's Memorial Scholarship Fund was established to provide a one-time scholarship <coughs> award annually in the amount of $500 or more to an Olivia High School graduate pursuing a career in Why education is the projector and teaching the slide, degree you know? in mathematics. The winning applicant was he doesn't selected know. again by the Elyria City so. Schools of Dallas Board of Trustees. I am excited to present this award of $1,000 to Leanna Medina. pursuing a degree in early childhood education from Kent State University. Thespian Troop 946 Scholarship with Mr. Robert Graves, Elyria High English teacher and theater director.
Hello. Uh, first, I want to say that I'm proud of this year's senior class and their dedication, uh, especially to, to theater. Um, I have three scholarships that I'm presenting this year. The first scholarship goes to a student that has participated in all four years at the Drama Club. They've had roles on and off stage, and for the latest show, The Wizard of Oz, uh, they were the stage manager. They plan on attending LCCC next year, and they want to go to school for computer engineering. Congrats to Dharma Holberg. The next scholarship goes to another student who has participated in all four years of Drama Club and was part of the EPAC team. They plan on going to school for audio engineering. Uh, they're going to LCCC next year, and they plan to go to Berkeley College of Music after that. Congrats to Elise Bilo. And the third scholarship goes to, who's, to a student who has brought great talent to the Drama Club the past two years. The latest role they played uh, was Glinda in The Wizard of Oz, and they plan on attending the University of Cincinnati for English Literacy and Cultural Studies. Congrats to Layla Marks. Next, we have the Caden D. Williams Memorial Scholarship presented by the Williams family. Good evening, everyone. My name is Marcellus Hammonds, uh, founder and CEO of Leaders of Today, nonprofit organization. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, I'm also an alum of Elyria High, and uh, I founded the organization in 2018. Uh, but it came about during undergrad uh, of me really wanting to make a difference. Um, I had the privilege of playing football all four years. And my ninth grade year, uh, my running back coach was this guy right here, uh, Keenan. And uh, he played a tremendous role in my life, just being able to show me what true leadership was, whether it was going your way or not. And it stuck with me throughout undergrad. Um, it was also in undergrad that I remember uh, getting, getting news um, that his son, Caden Williams, had tragically passed away in a car accident in 2017. And when I, uh, when I read it, it hit me to my core, but I told myself that some way, somehow, like I wouldn't be able to, to make a difference and turn the story, or, turn the story around to, to be a positive. Um, 
in, in 2021, we had that opportunity to do that. Um, I didn't know how we would get reconnected, but I shared my interest in starting the scholarship through Leaders of Today. And lo and behold, um, Keenan and his wife Sarah said, this is exactly what we wanted to do. We just didn't know how to go about it. So things aligned uh, perfectly. And most importantly, it showed that some of the traumatic experiences that we go through in life can still bring us together for the good. Um, today, we have the opportunity to honor Caden's life through presenting the Caden D. Williams Memorial Scholarship. The Caden D. Williams Memorial Scholarship was established in August of 2021 to support high school students, high school seniors graduating from Elyria High, which three students will be rewarded uh, one $1,000 scholarship um, awarded to their university. So next we'll have a few words from the family and then we'll call up the students. Thank you guys for being here. Um, we want to congratulate all the uh, awards recipients today. Um, I'm, I'm blown away by kids that understand at a young age that how important education is, and you know they're goal driven. And um, so, congratulations to all, to all you guys today that are getting recognized. Um, second, I want to acknowledge our support group. Um, they have been unbelievable. So originally our, our, our goal was to have two uh, $500 scholarships and that's what we agreed on. But our support group said that wasn't good enough. So today we are awarding three $1,000 scholarships. Yes. Somebody showed them how important school was and they took it and they ran with it. So big ups to, to all three of you guys. Um, so proud to see, like I said, young people that understand the value of education just blows me away. Um, but I'm gonna tell you that their character is much, much greater than that. And it showed up in the interviews that we had with them. They are unbelievable kids. They talked about family structure. They, they were dependable. They were reliable. They're all goal-driven. They're all selfless. Their character was unbelievable in the interview process that we had with them. Um, so without further ado, our first award winner is Jerry Eldmeyer.
Thank you, guys. Next, we have the Perry Ahrens Scholarship awarded by our O'Leary High Band Director, Mr. Aaron Putka. Every year I have the privilege of uh, giving the scholarship to a student who um, I feel best has the memory or the, the, the qualities that Perry Ahrens had. Um, and I discuss it with the sister Judy, who's been generous with her family to offer this one-time $500 scholarship. Perry was taken before his time, and uh, he was a wonderful person and a fabulous musician, and he was a drummer. And this year, the award will be going to Jacob Clayton. Next, we have the Illyria Club of NBPWC presented uh, the Women's Club Scholarship from Constance Drummer. chairperson for the Negro Business and Professional Women's Club and also their second vice president. Our scholarships are given out to African American youth who live in the, uh, the city of Elyria or attend Elyria City Schools. And it, they are chosen through a personal matter of thing that they send us. We ask for 500 word uh, essay, and we asked for a completed application from them. We asked for their curriculum, uh, what they've done at Elyria High School, the extracurriculum activities, and then we also look at um, what they have done in the community. And uh, our scholarships, uh, money is given out by donors. A lot of times it is members of our club. This year, um, we gave out two scholarships to Oberlin, um, two scholarships to Midview, and then one here at Elyria High School. And that scholarship uh, is going out to Kaya Shine. Scholarship presented by Mr. Jason Stidick.
I am here on behalf of the largest fraternal organization in the world. I am a representative from the Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons of Ohio. You may be familiar with the Masonic logo at the top here. If you're not, I would encourage you to, at some point in time, walk outside the main entrance of this beautiful high school and look across the street. And you will see Elyria Lodge, which is one of over 400 Masonic lodges in Ohio and has served this community for over 100 years. The Grand Lodge of Ohio, through its charitable foundation, provides scholarships annually for 52 students across the state of Ohio, recognizing them for their academic excellence, for their service to their schools, and service to their community. Of these 52, two of which are reserved for students in Cuyahoga and Lorain counties. And tonight, I am here to present one. At this time, I would like to invite to the podium, Miss Elena Runyon. and Freemasons within the state of Ohio. I would like to present you the certificate of scholarship. I heard the check was in there. <laughs> and congratulate you and all of the awardees tonight. Jason, will you show us the secret handshake tonight? <laughs> no one ever takes me up on that. One of these times. Next, we have the Teresa Moon Memorial Pay It Forward Scholarship presented by Ms. Tamara Moon. one of the assistant principals here at the high school and I have the great pleasure of awarding the Teresa Moon Memorial Pay It Forward Scholarship. This year's recipient is Miss Jackie Kaminsky. LGBT Community Center of Great, Greater Cleveland Pride Scholarship presented by our own Team 2 Building Support Associate, Ms. Alana Wren. I am standing in for Ms. Denise Estrado this evening the Community Engagement Coordinator at the LGBT Community Center of Greater Cleveland. She sends her regrets as because she could not attend tonight because she is setting up for this weekend's events at Pride in Cleveland. Tonight we are recognizing Aiden Cole. Aiden is one of two young leaders who have been awarded the 2022 Pride in the CLE Scholarship. This is a $500 award to assist students 
who are graduating high school and pursuing a higher degree. These awards are made possible by a generous donation of a sponsor. The criteria we look for is a well-prepared application, essay, and reference letter, as well as involvement in the school and community activities that have a foundation in the LGBTQ plus community. Grades are, a, of course, taken into consideration, but we have the ability to look at the person as a whole package beyond just their GPA. Aiden will be recognized this Saturday at Pride CLE. Please join me in congratulating Aiden Cole. Next, we have the Rocky and Eileen Ross Memorial Scholarship presented by the Ross family. Good evening. I'm Debbie Connor, Rocky and Eileen Ross's daughter. This is the first year we've been able to offer the scholarship and we're very excited about this. Rocky Ross was a 1946 Elyria High School graduate. He played on the EHS golf team, he was a hardworking student who thrived in the areas of math and history. He lived his life with high integrity and approached every challenge that life presented to him with an incredible work ethic. Eileen Ross, his wife of 50 years, was a 1952 Elyria High School graduate. Eileen was an administrative assistant here at Elyria High for 25 years. She always greeted everyone with a warm smile and an infectious laugh. Both were avid fans of EHS football and basketball, regularly attending the games. Elyria High School and The Ohio State University have been integral pieces of the puzzle that put my family members on the road to success, socially, academically, and financially. When my family and I started the scholarship fund, we had a specific type of student in mind. One that we thought would represent the integrity, work ethic, and warmth that my parents showed through their entire life. A student that might not be in the front row of every picture, but one that makes a picture better by just being in it. A student that perseveres when the odds are against them. One that does the right thing even when it seems like it's the hardest option. I am honored to say that we have found this student. Before I announce this year's recipient of the $1,000 scholarship, I would like to share some advice from that my father, Rocky Ross, gave to my daughter, Caitlin, when she left for college. He said, know your limits, never accept the first offer, and remember not to waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. I am proud to announce that this year's recipient of the Rocky and Eileen Ross Memorial Scholarship is Mayo. Linda Lopez. NAACP 2022 Book Scholarship presented by Mrs. Loretta Jones.
All right, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Such a great opportunity to be able to be up here presenting to some of these young ladies and young gentlemen uh, and recognizing them for all their accomplishment throughout their 50 years in elementary school and high school, you know? <laughs> because that's how it feels, right? Right? Especially parents, because you had to come out of your pocket during that time. But it was all worthwhile. My name is Loretta Jones, and I am a retired educator from Lorraine City Schools. And my assignment today is to award uh, three uh, beautiful young people uh, in scholarship, okay, the, uh, coming from the uh, uh, Metro Central Unit of NAACP. It's listed as Illyria, but I'll tell you a little bit before I go on. Earlier in 2021, uh, the Illyria and Oberlin NAACP merged together and is now called the Metro Central Unit of the NAACP, okay? Uh, we all, we all, as always, we will continue uh, to fight for the political, the educational, social, and economic equality for all people, okay? One of the number one things on the table today for our young people to face is this thing called social justice, okay? And the people that I know tonight in this room, any one of you over 16, don't worry about it. They got us. They got us. They know what their goals are. They know what their plans are. They know what they want to do. And I'm proud to stand here to say this. Uh, between the two uh, 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 cities, Illyria and Oakland, there is a total of six scholarships uh, that will be rewarded, rewarded to these young people, three in Illyria and three given out in open last week, okay? Now, I am going to sit, stand right here and give you, a, say, I'm saying you, I won the lottery and everybody get a free ride to college, but I can't do that, okay? But I will say this. There are three young people selected from Illyria High School, and, and I would like for all three of them to come up when I call their names that way, they can all take their picture together. Okay, uh, the Metro Central Unit of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, number 3183, uh, what the certificate of recognition, first one is going to be awarded to Ms. Sierra Moe. never should have told me this, but the president of this unit is here. Mama D, where are you? Oh, yes, she is. We, uh, Mrs. Adelia Hubbard is the president of this metro unit, okay? I said, baby girl, how you doing? <laughs> Lucky person to re uh, receive this award, this award is Kaya Shine. Unit, and they are to use the, the money towards books, 
uh, purchasers. Uh, each one of these young people had to write an essay. Uh, and I was the judge, and I had to sit there and read, and I'm thinking that these babies couldn't write because that's what they say about our children. They don't write enough. Wrong. These people who, it was like 12 young people were applying for this uh, scholarship, and those essays were powerful. That's why I told you, this group of young people that we are graduating today, they have their own mind, their own heart, and their own desire to make a difference for us in this world. So I will close out and sit down, but I want to leave everybody with this, especially the young people. We were able uh, to, earlier in the year, to read, have a book club. And I had uh, been in a book club 30 years ago, okay? Um, and we read the book Becoming by Michelle Obama. And I want to re leave all you young people with her message as to why she wrote this book, Becoming, if you know anything about her book. She said, and I quote, for me, becoming isn't about arriving or achieving a certain aim. I see it instead as forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously towards a better self. She said the journey never ends. Remember that, babies. And I'll see you in my rocking chair 10 years from now with you taking care of me in, in the nursing home. Oh. She's going to be in a rocking chair anytime soon. <laughs> Next, we have the Delta Sigma Theta Lorraine County Alumni, Alumni Chapter Scholarship presented by Mrs. Miriam Hamm. joyous occasion, so we all should be bubbling, you know, with laughter and joy. Um, before I award the, uh, the scholarships for this afternoon, this evening, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the organization Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. We, were, we started in 1913 but we didn't embrace Lorraine County until 1983. And since then, we've been doing our focus. Our focus has been scholarship, service, uh, social action, and of course, sisterhood. In 1913, we were part of the Women's March in Washington, D.C. So we have celebrated 100 years. If you ever hear anyone say, boy, D.C. has turned red, they're talking about those women in red. Um, we try to make sure that people are treated as people. Children are recognized for whom they are and for what they do. So tonight we're going to focus on the education part of our scholarship, of our um, organization. I am a former teacher slash administrator from Lorraine City Schools. Uh, my husband and I had two children to graduate from the area high, and we come back all the time. And I love the orchestra, both played in the orchestra, um, and they just enjoyed high school. As a matter of fact, I, I tried to tell them as an educator myself, you don't want to go into education. That's tough. Both of them are in education. <laughs> One's a guidance counselor in Texas, and the other one is in Columbus um, educating. So I have two awards to be given tonight, and I'll tell you a little bit um, just a little bit about each of the awardees. 
you know that um, the two awardees that we, I will be uh, granting tonight are two of seven. We, are, we say we are Lorraine County, but we've reached a little bit further. We always hit Overland, Elyria, Lorraine, now Sandusky, which is not in Lorraine County. We've hit the Midview schools, and we, we have spread out to uh, North Ridgeville as well. So the young people that are going to be awarded tonight, I'm giving them some exercise. They have, um, they're being recognized for their academic achievements and outstanding accomplishments as grad 2022 graduates of Elyria High School. I, as I said, this is two of the seven scholarships that we are awarding. And the amount runs from $500 to $1,000. The first recipient um, from Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Lorraine County, is Sierra Mobley. of your academic achievement and outstanding accomplishments as a 2022 graduating high school senior, Lorraine County alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated awards this, the, our next awardee is Jeremiah Eldermeyer. getting a little bit of exercise. <laughs> Presenting the Kiwanis Club of Illyria Scholarships, Mr. Steve Sump. Good evening. Um, I'm not Steve Sump. Uh, he uh, was unable to make it tonight, and I'm filling in for him. My name is Scott Saracen. And it's my honor and privilege um, to uh, present the four Kiwana scholarships to Larry High graduates of 2022. And I'm going to make this very short. Uh, Kiwanis is an organization um, that is uh, interested and designed to aid children uh, in community activities. And our scholarships are, are based on all the other criteria that you've heard tonight, but primarily on community involvement. And so it gives me great pleasure to, to begin to, get, uh, to give these scholarships to the awardees. Um, the first one is, is a dedicated uh, scholarship that was set up in the name of, of Bob Hartman. Um, Bob was a, a leader in Kiwanis for over 30 years. And he was an uh, energetic man and a dear friend of mine. And um, it gives him great pleasure to award this uh, scholarship. I think we should get this gentleman a chair up here so he doesn't have to walk back and forth so often. But it's uh, Jacob David Clayton.
I, I should add that uh, Jacob is attending Howard University. And that's a great school. Um, the next award goes to uh, another dedicated award is the um, Lou Kaplan Memorial Scholarship. Lou was a member of Kiwanis for Ages, uh, a wonderful man, and you can see Kaplan Furniture still as a fixture in downtown Elyria where you can get some great deals on quality furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and his family will be happy I said that. <laughs> Lou would have said that was he here, would he be? But uh, again, this, uh, this scholarship is awarded to um, Alan Prechtel. I guess uh, Mr. Prechtel isn't here, but we will, we will make sure that he gets the award. Um, I believe that he is attending, um, let me get this straight. Um, He's, a, a, uh, yeah, he's going to be attending OU, uh, a much underrated university, um, in the fall, and he's going to study uh, business with um, an emphasis on marketing. Okay, the two scholarships from the Kiwanis Club that are not dedicated um, are going to, um, the first one is, is going to uh, Aiden Paul. Just making sure, but I, I hear he's attending the University of Massachusetts in Boston, and he's going to be studying uh, uh, public policy. And I hear that, and I'm, I'm aware that they have a, a great uh, public policy program, which uh, emphasizes urban studies. And the final scholarship is going to. Brooklyn Underwood. I should uh, also note that Brooklyn is attending the University of Toledo studying pharmacy, and I would say it's one of the best pharmacy schools in Ohio. Thank you very much. Your parents uh, should be very proud. Next we have the Allie Clifford Memorial Scholarship presented by Mrs. Angela Clifford and Ms. Ashley Basie. Allie would have graduated in 2013. He was 
celebrate that milestone with her class who showed so much love and support during our most difficult time. The idea of the Allie Clifford Memorial Scholarship was born. <laughs> to be eligible for the scholarship, applicants must show proof of enrollment in college as a full-time student in the fall, have a cumulative GPA of 2.8 or higher, and involved in some type of extracurricular activity. Most importantly, we asked them to write an essay, a thousand word essay on the perils that could face teenage, teenage drivers with the hope that although education can prevent a tragedy like the one that devastated our family, because as you can see, after 10 years, just the mention of Allie's name still takes a breath away. So we are proud to present the year's scholarships to Mia Congress. I also want to thank Mia. She participated in our benefit this year to raise funds for the scholarship. Christian Dobies. Jackie Kaminsky. Finn Ballowender. Kayla Bender. Next, we have the Aaron Atkins Memorial Scholarship presented by Ms. Patty Willard, Shana Atkins, and family. August of 2013, Mrs. Erin Atkins, uh, my sister, 
Shana's mom and Portland's aunt. Um, also a ninth grade English teacher here at Elyria High School was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. And just eight short months later, on April 13th, 2014, at the age of 31, she suddenly lost her courageous battle due to complications of the disease. Erin was not only a teacher here, uh, she also attended Elyria City Schools and was a graduate of Elyria High School's class of 2000. She was proud to be a pioneer. Her ways of teaching may not have always been the traditional methods, but instead she presented her lessons in ways that each student could understand. She cared about her students and wanted to bring out the best that she saw in each of them. Shortly after Erin's passing, the term Pioneer Strong was frequently used in describing her. And despite her illness, Erin continued to live her life to the fullest. She continued to teach with enthusiasm and energy. The scholarship was created to honor Erin and to keep her memory alive by encouraging and supporting continuing education. Students applying for these awards were asked to submit an essay describing what Pioneer Strong means to them. Among the applicants, two students were chosen to receive this award. Uh, for us, it is a privilege to present this award to Ivani Calvin. And also a very special privilege to Aiden Bull. Next we have the Chick Evans Caddy Scholarship presented by Mr. Brian Duffin.
process of receiving the award. Uh, the scholarship is, is based on uh, a strong caddy record, academic excellence, demonstrated financial need, and outstanding character. Some of the other things that need to be submitted for that award are, are W-2s, family income records, uh, grade transcripts, an essay, uh, letters of recommendation. So it's, it's, a, it's a difficult process. But Julia Caddy's at O'Leary Country Club. She will be attending Miami University this fall, living in the Evans Chapter House on campus, along with about 70 other scholars. She is one of 315 award winners this year throughout the country, one of only 26 in Ohio. Um, now the good part, this award is a full tuition scholarship, full housing for up to four years. It's renewable each year based on achieving high standards for grades and house maintenance. It's interesting to note that the current 1,070 scholars in school have a cumulative GPA of 3.4, and Evans scholars graduate at a 95% graduation rate, which is extremely high. Uh, we're confident that Julia is going to fit right in with the best of the best at Miami University. So she's already won the award. I'm going to give her some notes. Congratulations. My niece goes to Miami, so I'm thinking in my head that's about two hundred thousand dollars worth of schooling. That's amazing. the Kenneth Hicks Memorial Scholarship presented by Aaron Beast Hartling. Good evening everyone. Comstar Credit Union was established in 1938 and we're based right here in Elyria. Most of you know our building over on Cleveland Street. Comstar created the Hicks Memorial Scholarship to assist high school students in our community to finance their post-secondary education. It is awarded in memory of the late Kenneth Hicks, who is recognized and remembered for his 30 plus years of dedication, leadership, and support of continuing education to our credit union. The students selected to receive this scholarship award embody the credit union principles of people helping people, volunteerism, and continuing education. I'm honored to present two scholarships tonight in the amount of $1,000 each to Alina Runyon and to Jackie Kaminsky. Next, we have the O'Neill Healthcare Scholarship being presented tonight by our own Team One School Counselor, Ms. Michelle Kirsch. Good evening. So, I have the pleasure of presenting the O'Neill Healthcare Scholarship, the O'Neill O'Neill Healthcare Scholarship. O'Neill Healthcare is a family-owned and operated company with five local facilities providing skilled nursing, rehab, long-term care, and assisted living. O'Neill Healthcare awards a $500 scholarship every year to a graduating senior 
who is pursuing their education and career in nursing or therapy and has at least a 3.0 GPA. Students applying must write an essay detailing why they are choosing to pursue this career. This year's scholarship winner has a 4.2. If I can remember. I'm really sorry to interrupt. By any chance, is there anybody in the medical field? If we could, we need your help outside. We just had um, someone collapse. Um, 4.2 GPA and displays the compassion and dedication it takes to be a nurse or a professional health care. I would like to award this year's recipient, Kayla Bender, with the $500 O'Neill Healthcare Scholarship. They were not here to present tonight, so um, Kayla, you'll be receiving your certificate and instructions for receiving your, your money. Next, we have the Illyria Rotary scholarship presented by Mr. James Zemnick. My name is Jim Zimnick. I am the director of the Lorraine County Metro Parks, and while I always love to talk about the Metro Parks, tonight I'm here as a proud member of the Illyria Rotary Club, where I am honored to serve on the Rotary's Grants and Scholarship Committee. It is my privilege to recognize an outstanding Illyria High School senior this evening as a recipient of one of our Illyria Rotary Scholarships. For those of the, those of the, yeah, hello. For those of the, you who don't know, Rotary International, of which we are members, was the world's first service club organization. Currently, there are more than 1.3 million members in over 33,000 clubs worldwide. Rotary Club members are volunteers who work locally, regionally, and internationally to combat hunger, improve health, sanitation, provide education, and job training, promote peace, and eradicate polio under the motto, Service Above Self. You probably recognize our, our Illyria Rotary Club from our fundraiser of selling fried ice cream at the Illyria Apple Festival. Yep. Well, what you may not know is that our club founded the organization that is now known as Easter Seals. A few years ago, in celebration of the Illyria Rotary Club's 100th anniversary, and and to help celebrate this milestone, our club donated a substantial amount of the funding to help build the new inclusive children's playground in Cascade Park. Dedication of that centennial playground occurred a few summers ago, and the popularity and visitation continues to astound us. Over 10 years ago, we began awarding multiple scholarships to graduating seniors from our local area high schools who best exemplified Rotary's motto, of service above self. These students would have to be actively involved in community service, volunteerism, and extracurricular activities. We received over 25 applications this year. The 11 members of our scholarship committee had a challenging and difficult time making our selections. All the applications were extremely impressive and everyone who applied should be proud of their accomplishments. One of our Illyria Rotary Scholarship winners for a one-year $2,500 scholarship prides herself on doing service work and volunteering in the community. A few of her numerous Service Above Self activities, including ser serving as class president for these past three years, Link Crew, National Honor Society, Special Olympics, and serving as captain of the volleyball team. She plans to attend 
Baldwin-Wallace University to major in cello performance with the ultimate goal of becoming a member of a professional orchestra. Selfishly, we hope it's here at Severance in Cleveland. But she loves spreading her knowledge and enthusiasm of music. She strongly believes that she was put on this earth to serve other people. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the recipient of one of the Illyria Rotary Club, Club one year $2,500 scholarships, Jacqueline L. Kaminsky. Community Reinvestment and the Elyria Schools and Friends Alumni Association Scholarship presented by Ms. Shirley Massaros and Mr. Fred Pond. I'm just telling you, the old bones aren't what they used to be. <laughs> uh, good evening. My name is Shirley Massaros and I'm the president of the Elyria Friends Schools and Alumni Association. As a graduate of 1954, my love for Leary High School is strong today as it has been in the past. And I'm so proud of the ca uh, campus that has been constructed here for all, all of the Leary students. I certainly hope they appreciate what they have. Uh, our organization it's been in existence since 1998, and we partner with Ridge Tool Reinvestment. So, uh, we have over $200,000 given in scholarships over the years. Fred couldn't be here tonight. He also, I want to tell you, was very instrumental as CEO of Ridge Tool when this campus was being built. We made sure a nice donation was given. Each year, our organization uh, mails letters to the parents of each senior, trying to encourage the students to apply for our scholarships. In recent years, we've seen a decline in applications, and it's discouraging because we're eager to help advance education opportunities with each of our graduates. So um, I'm hoping in the future, the parents will mark their calendars and uh, encourage the students to uh, march be thinking about applying for our scholarships. Our wishes with everyone here tonight is to just pass on the information that the money is there, but you have to be a little, have a little initiative and uh, apply for it. So tonight, we are giving five scholarships. And, uh, I'm just going to call the names out. You just come on up. I think some of you might have a seat in front of the auditorium here. You're doing so well. Jackie Kaminsky, $1,000. Kayla Bender, $1,000. Pronounces right. Scott Lipkin, $1,000. Lena Runyon, $1,000. Starks, $1,000. So we just want to say our sincere congratulations to the recipients and all of your fellow classmates on your journey in life to be the best for you. So tonight, so don't mess them up. Uh, our check is in here for you. Thank you very well. <laughs> Really proud of you. Thank 
Next, we have the Rotary Strive Scholarship presented by T1 Counselor, Ms. Michelle Kirsch. Hello again. Um, Strive is a motivational program supported by the Area Rotary Club. And Strive stands for Students Taking a Renewed Interest in the Value of Education. And I'm very honored to be a part of this group. We meet once a month. We used to meet in the Wi-Fi, which was sponsored by the Rotarians, and um, things got a little crazy with rooms and whatnot, but we meet once a month and listen to a motivational speaker just to talk about personal experiences and opportunities and good resources for making those connections for possible future careers or trades and what have you. So, some of the favorite speakers included the UH Hospital and Karen Tomko from Moraine County Community College. We had a guest speaker with Mrs. Tomko this year, Jason, is it Jason Williams. And he presented some new programs, opportunities for students at LCCC with possibility with, what is it, computer informational technology systems. And with Intel being built in Columbus, good opportunities for students there to start a career. Strive, oh, hold on, okay. Strive's keys to success include the four Ps, which Mr. Battle, who is the driving force behind Strive, promotes positive, prompt, prepared, and polite. This year's recipients will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship to a school of their choice. If you could just hold your applause, I'm just going to call them all, all at one time. So congratulations to this year's recipients, Abigail Palos, Desiree Williams, Dejanae Ramey, and Peyton Campbell. Congratulations. pleasure of announcing the College Now traditional scholarships. Mr. Jeremy Wilt could not be here this evening and he wanted me to say as College Now serves over 70 high schools in five counties, every year the competition for the College Now scholarship becomes a little more intense. This year was no exception with close to 1,100 applications received and out of that number, Elyria High has been awarded with three recipients. Each student will be receiving a four-year renewable scholarship payable to their college of enrollment. The recipients of this year's College Now traditional scholarship are Trey Barbie, Ivani Cabin, and Jacqueline Kaminsky.
Jackie, if you could just stay there right on the X. In addition to the traditional scholarship applications, students are also invited to apply for the College Now special scholarships. This set of scholarships have a more straight set of requirements and additional essay component and are decidedly more difficult to be selected as a recipient. This year, an Elyria High student has been selected to receive not one, but two of these special scholarships. These scholarships are awarded in addition to the previously mentioned traditional scholarship. The recipient of both the Jimmy Malone and the Robert Fortney Endowed Scholarships is Jacqueline Kaminsky. Food Service Scholarship presented by Elyria Education Association President, Ms. Linda Aganaga. Next, we have the Eastern Star Scholarship presented by O'Leary High School history teacher, Mr. John Wallace. Well, first of all, congratulations to all this year's awardees. You had one hell of a chaotic high school career. Congrats, congrats, congrats. The Order of the Eastern Star is a fraternal organization of men and women committed to providing an environment of friendship and fellowship by implementing innovative ideas, facilitating positive change, and planning for the future through mutual respect and service. The Eastern Star Scholarship is based on the scholastic record, character, need, and the purpose for which a student is seeking higher education. On behalf of the Order of the Eastern Star, I am honored to present future Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jacket, Andrew Palos. Next, we have our Leary High School Athletic Director, Ms. Heather Beck, to present multiple scholarships. Good evening. Each year, the Leary Sports Hall of Fame awards four scholarships in the amount of $500 to outstanding athletes from Leary High School, Leary Catholic High School, Open Door School, and First Baptist. These scholarships are fully funded through donations made by past inductees. Through their generous donations, this year's 50th and for this year's 50th anniversary, we will actually be awarding the scholarship recipients $750. Out of the four scholarship recipients, three of them were from Larry High School this year. We had, I believe it was 18 amazing applications and it gets very hard to select the award winners, um, but as I said, our committee selected three of them from Larry High School. The first recipient um, from Larry High School is Kayla Bender. She is a member of the National Honor Society linked through Pioneer Pack, the varsity volleyball team, and also plays club volleyball. Her teachers describe her as a student who is never happy with an average performance and strives to do her best daily. She is a natural leader and will go out of her way to help others without being asked. Her volleyball coach describes her as a leader who works hard, pushes her teammates, and strives for the highest goals. These attributes have helped her be successful on the volleyball court and in the classroom. She has maintained a 4.8 GPA while taking full, a full schedule of honors and CCP classes over the last four years. Next year, she will be attending at Ohio Northern University, where she will study nursing and continue her volleyball career.
the second recipient from O'Leary High School is Jacqueline Kaminsky. As you heard, she is very active here at the high school. She's a member of the President's Club, Link Crew, National Honor Society, serves as the president of the Pioneer Pack Choir and Orchestra, and played basketball for two years and volleyball for four. Outside of the school, Jacqueline is a member of the Contemporary Youth Orchestra, the Cleveland Youth Orchestra, and the Tri-M Music Honor Society. One of her teachers describes her as creative, compassionate, goal-driven, and one of the most actively involved people they know. Her choir director describes her as a person who will go above and beyond, not just to improve herself, but to help others as well. She's the type of leader who understands that leadership is inspiring others by your own actions and work ethic. She has maintained a 4.6 GPA while participating in her numerous school and outside activities. She will attend Baldwin Wallace to study cello performance. And the third recipient from Valeria High School is Andrew Palos. Andrew is a member of the Spanish Club Prom Committee Link Crew Football and Track and Field. Um, his guidance counselor describes him as a great young man who is smart, kind, athletic, and a leader in school. He has taken honors courses, college credit plus, and advanced placement courses during his high school career and excelled in each of them. His football coach says he is a young man of high character and carries himself with pride and respect. Andrew has the maturity level that is way beyond many of his peers and that enables him to navigate with confidence in his decision making. He has maintained a 4.66 GPA while taking his active heavy course load. He will be attending Baldwin Wallace University where he will study engineering and continue his football career. Just go ahead and stay right there. <laughs> the next scholarship I will be presenting this evening is the Rick Wagner Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Rick, um, the Rick Wagner Memorial Scholarship is awarded each year in memory of Rick Wagner, who was an EHS math teacher and dedicated coach and athletic administrator. For nine years, Rick battled leukemia, succumbing to his illness in December 2000. At that time, Memorial contributions were made to the athletic department. With the help of the Pioneer Club and the Elyria High School Student Council, his family was able to establish an annual scholarship awarded to a graduating male athlete who represents all that Rick stood for, excellence in the classroom, and on the field of athletics. This year's $300 scholarship is awarded to Andrew Palos. that next scholarship. Um, I would like to um, wish Andrew and his 4x1 Relay Team best of luck. They are traveling down to the state. And the Jim Vincent Memorial Scholarship um, was established by friends and family in 1988. Coach V, as he was affectionately known, personified the qualities of unselfishness, warmth, and caring for others as he exhibited unwavering love for his students and athletes. This year's Jim Vincent Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Kayla Bender. Director Ms. Kaylee Bonzio presenting multiple scholarships.
Good evening. Our first scholarship is the Acapella Choir Scholarship. This is awarded to a senior who has shown um, significant contribution and dedication to the Acapella Choir. And this year, this is awarded to Emma Cosis Ramos. She is in charge of our morale committee, so really keeping everything going in the choir department. She's also band president and just an all-around amazing person. Next is the Shelley Petrillo Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to someone in honor of Shelley Petrillo, who was dedicated to the choir program, was an amazing person, and always showed kindness. And I cannot think of a better person than Layla Marks. drama club member, a member of Madrigals and Acapella, um, is always willing to help out, is a mentor to other students in high school and helped out a lot with the Munchkins during the Wizard of Oz. And finally, the J. Martin Beck Founders Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a senior in honor of just that. J. Martin Beck founded the choir department um, all those years ago, and this student represents someone who's really committed to that program. And I am honored to give this to Sydney Gates. Sydney is a member of Choir Council, uh, is in charge of all of our attire, which got crazy this year with our new robes. She's a member of K-Pop Club, and honestly her biggest duty is probably just keeping me in line. Next we have Mr. Tim Brown, O'Leary High School Building Principal, presenting the Lisa Licht Scholarship. Thank you. Before I announce our recipient, I'd like to take a moment for a round of applause for Miss Julioka for a fantastic job of him seeing tonight. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to thank all of our 2022 soon-to-be graduates. I can't appreciate you enough for letting us know from the first day of school all the way till now, it's okay to laugh, it's okay to smile, it's okay to have some fun. And we can even get used to our, you taking our favorite parking spots. Yeah. Even if it was just for a day. So thank you for letting school be school again uh, this year. Finally, before I announce the recipient, I would like to ask that sometime tonight you take a moment to say a prayer. We did have one of our scholarship presenters um, have a medical emergency after they left tonight. So please keep him in your thoughts as well as all the individuals that intervened to make sure he was okay until medical staff could get here. So I appreciate you keeping him and everyone involved in your thoughts today. Finally, it's my privilege as the principal to announce the Lisa E. Lick Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship started back in 2018 when we unfortunately lost one of the administrators here in Elyria Schools Lisa was a longtime educator in Elyria, starting as an elementary teacher, moving up to an elementary assistant principal, and then ultimately being the principal at Franklin Elementary School, which is now Hamilton Elementary School. And four years ago, we lost her unexpectedly, and the administrative team of Elyria City Schools decided we wanted to help Lisa's legacy continue on as she loved the children she served each and every day, as much as her son who graduated that same year. And I'm proud to announce he is now a graduate of the University of Toledo. Uh, so we are going to keep her memory alive by awarding a $500 scholarship to any student that served with her at Franklin Elementary School while she was the principal and they were a student. 
So on behalf of the administrators of the Hilaria City School, it is my honor and privilege to award a $500 scholarship to a student that attended Franklin Elementary and will soon graduate from Elyria High School, Sierra Mobley. Sierra Mobley, everyone. Next, we have the Elyria Education Association Scholarship presented by the Elyria Education Association President, Miss Linda Aguinaga. This year picked two um, scholarship recipients who are going into the education field. As you can see from our um, image up here, we represent 500 members in the teachers union. And we are a range of classroom teachers, nurses, psychologists, um, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech tech. Um, I'm now I'm leaving out some social workers. Um, so it's the education, educationers. Um, and when we look at the applicants this year, it was a pleasure to look at the two that we chose because each of them have a little backstory. The first one I'm going to uh, award our $1,000 scholarship is to Sydney Yates. Sydney um, may or not remember, but I met her years ago when I worked with her mother at Franklin uh, Elementary. Sydney and her sister came to help their mom get prepared for school. And they were little girls at that time. They were super happy to clean the desk <laughs> for the teachers. And when I saw her name and her application, of course, I remembered you as a little girl helping your mom at Franklin. And reading her essay, she spoke about her family uh, of educators. So congratulations, Sydney. The second recipient goes to Liana Medina. In Liana's application, she referenced that she comes from a line of educators as well. Her, is it your grandfather? Yes, your grandfather was also the association president. So again, very near and dear to all of our hearts in the association. Congratulations. Support Staff Scholarship presented by Ms. Alana Wren. Hello. Um, the Elyria School Support Staff Union represents the classified staff here at Elyria City School District. The ESSS scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a senior in high school that is a child, stepchild, or grandchild of an active ESSS member. Applicants were required to possess an accumulative high school GPA of 2.5 and must attend an accredited technical school or college upon graduation. Applicants were asked to submit a 250-word essay on my career goals and why. This year, we have five recipients from Elyria High School. Elise Below. <laughs> Jacob Clayton. <laughs> Lee. 
Leanna Medina. Alina Baez. And Tiana Baez. Next we have Michelle Kirsch presenting the Lay Charmette Scholarship and the Vitalit Scholarship. Hello everyone again. I get the pleasure of announcing the scholarship because no one else knows how to pronounce it. Not that I know how to do any better, but I believe it's called the Lay Charmette Scholarship. Um, so, this year's recipients are Leanna Medina and Jeremiah Eldermann. Next is the By Talent Scholarship. This is based on the number of units donated, the number of units of blood donated by the Lyria High students and staff. And this year we had enough to give one $500 scholarship. And this year's recipient is John Freeman IV. I need to brush up on my French. It's Le Charme, Miss Kirsch. Sorry about that. Next, we have the Aramark Food Service Scholarship presented by Miss Lauren Pauget. General Manager of Food Services for Elyria City Schools, quite the title. Um, as part of Aramark's commitment to quality education, we are pleased to present 14 scholarships tonight. So in the interest of time, I'm gonna rattle off all their names and if all of the recipients could come on up to the stage, we'll snap our pick and they can be on their merry way. For the $1,000 scholarships, our recipients are Harold Starks and Daniel Webster. And for our $500 scholarships, the recipients are Jade Kane, Christian Dobies, Jeremiah Eldemeyer, yeah. Melanie Kaminsky, Woo! Vanessa Purdy, Woo! Amira Reed, Woo! Kaya Shine, Woo! Haley Smith, Woo! Brooklyn Underwood, yeah! Deja Witten, Woo! Sydney Yates, Woo! and Priscilla Uran.
In presenting our final scholarships of the night, we have freshman school counselor, Miss Betsy Trump. The Jack H. Abbey Scholarship was established to support a student who has seen the value of working a job while in high school. This year's recipient has used her work experience as a catalyst for her career path and has learned skills such as time management, patience, empathy, and resourcefulness. These qualities, in addition to her drive to help children see their own potential, will make for an impactful future educator. This year's Jack Abbey Scholarship is awarded to Leona Medina. was established in memory of Miss Ada Gates Stevens by her five sons and is presented each year to at least one Elyria High senior who is graduating in the top 10% of their class and is attending a four-year college. Mrs. Gates Stevens believes that able people should strive to improve society in some manner, such as in the liberal and fine arts, the sciences, or in contributing to the improvement of national and or local governments. This year, in partnership with the Cleveland Foundation and College Now, we are able to award two scholarships to graduates who will undoubtedly improve the world they live in. Congratulations to Avani Caven and Rainy Dog. was established by Katherine Garford Thomas in memory of her father. father. This scholarship is for a student planning to enter the field of education and this year's winner is more than deserving. She wrote in her application, I hope to give my students a safe space to be the most open, honest, and best version of themselves. I want them to genuinely feel seen, heard, and appreciated whenever they are in your classroom. I'm so excited for your future students. Congratulations, Amira Reed. provides a scholarship for a graduating senior from Elyria High School each year. This year's recipient has gone above and beyond to use his voice as a beacon for marginalized populations in our school, county, and beyond. I've had the privilege of knowing him since his ninth grade year and have truly enjoyed watching him grow, take risks, and set meaningful goals for himself and his community. I can't wait to be a witness to the big changes he will make in the future. Congrats, Aiden Pohl.
As we conclude our program, I would like to thank our community members again for their generosity. The students in this room are so deserving of every award that was given and I'm sure each recipient will make the most of all of your contributions. Finally, thank you parents, family, and staff for joining us tonight. Everyone have a great night. Thank you.